All right, so I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about paper and pens because that's such a huge part of this. I'll start with paper. Um, the very first ones I did on the three pendulum, you can see how crappy these are. I just did them on regular copy paper, um, which is all right, kind of flimsy. Then I stepped it up to real cardstock. You can hear it. This stuff is awesome. It's heavy. I think it's like 110 pound, something like that. It's got a smooth surface and it draws really well. That's great. Um, when I went to the bigger one, I had trouble finding cardstock. Everything you've seen me drawing on is just regular 11 by 17 copy paper, like 20 pound, which works. Um, it doesn't feel as good to hold, and if I could find better, I would. Um, one thing I did find at Staples was this cover stock. It's like 67 pounds, I think. It's a little better, but it's not as smooth as real cardstock. If I could find a source of cardstock this big, it would be great. Also, uh, um, well, some of my old cardstock is colored, but um, the new stuff isn't, because I don't know if they make colored paper that big. But a cool thing I've heard of is um, silver pen on black paper, which I really want to try. Alright, let's talk pens. The ideal pen for this um, has really good ink delivery. It's smooth, and it's dark. None of these really do that. Um, G2s, I bought the fine ones, which was a mistake. Not dark enough. Uniball, I actually did some good drawings with this, but a um, little sharp, the tip's a little sharp for drawing. It, again, if you add uh, thicker paper, it might be better. Is this a profile? I think these are decent. Not super dark, kind of cheap. Regular uniballs are good. These are all empty because I went through them. Um, Sharpie pen. Not good. It's not a roller ball. It's just a, a small felt tip. Wasn't able to keep up. Bic Atlantis, just a crappy pen. Uh, not great. Zebra pen. I think this was decent. I don't think it keep up. Liquid Espresso. Who's this by? I don't know. I think this was a sort of another felt tip. Uh, not great. This is the ink out of a regular Bic round stick. You can see how much it have used there just in a few drawings. These work pretty well. Another Uniball. I don't think this one was as good. This is the casing of a zebra. Uh, one, so it's dark. Um, this worked pretty good. I already showed you that. These pens, just the regular clicky clicky. These are pretty good. Yeah, I already have those. Mechanical pencil. Zebra mechanical pencil actually works pretty good. Um, the problem is that you can't have enough lead out for it to finish a drawing. If you put too much lead out, it'll break. If you don't put enough out, it'll run dry. And finally, I just have some artist pencils over here. They kind of work. Um, pencil's interesting because if you make a little mistake, like running into it, you could erase it, but it's almost never as dark, and you almost always run into a problem with it. Um, I think a, a darker, thicker uniball would be the way to go, but, you know, pens are expensive and uh, you tend to run through a lot of them, because one line in one of these things is so long. Like when I was setting up the machine, I was just drawing sheet after sheet and ran through all these uniballs, so they're all dry now. <laughs> And a new pack of Uniballs is like 10 bucks, and I'm not really trying to spend a lot of money on pens right now. But, you know, if you guys have suggestions, please let me know. Um, 
There's a million different kinds of pens out there, so I'm always looking for suggestions. Also on paper, if you know a good place to get real cardstock 11 by 17 please leave a comment and let me know. Alright, I guess that pretty much wraps it up for paper and pens. Um, I think I covered pretty much everything.